Aaron Judge has jumped into the Zoom room. He's talking about the Yankees, how they're clicking, and so is he. We're just kind of clicking on all cylinders right now. You know, our offense is feeding off of each other. Um, our bullpen's doing their job. Um, yeah, we're, we're just having fun out there. I think a lot of us are just glad to be having some baseball and to be back out on the field. So, yeah, like you said, it was a tough grind out uh, game tonight against the Red Sox, like it usually is. But, uh, you know, some guys came up with some clutch hits and we were able to come out with a win. I think 24 of your last 26 runs have come on home runs. But as Luke said earlier, you guys didn't just get them by home runs tonight. I mean, you had two of them, and, and, they, and the game-winning runs came on your home run. But you also had Mike Talkman with that walk and steal and DJ. So you're doing it both ways tonight, and you sweep the Red Sox. How does that all feel? Yeah, like you said, like the, the biggest at-bats of the night, I feel like, are, is Talkman's walk and then him getting that steal and getting in scoring position for a guy who's – the minute I saw Talkman get on second base, I knew DJ was going to drop him in, you know. So it's just, it's little things like that that this team's doing really well right now, you know, as, as a whole. And, um, yeah, it's just a tough team like Boston being able to, you know, sweep them like that early in the season, especially in, in the division. And plus, we're only playing 60 games. That's, that's big for us. So um, we're just going to try to take these wins and you kind of keep it rolling into Philly. You have uh, six home runs in your first eight games. That ties Alex Rodriguez from 2007 for the most in franchise history, and it passes Babe Ruth. So just hearing those two names, what does that mean to you? Uh, Chris, it's an honor, you know, to be, you know, in the same sentence as those two guys that have, you know, done so much for the game and, you know, what great hitters they were, you know. But um, and I'm, I'm just trying to go out there and have some fun, you know, do my part for a team that's got a lot of talent, and a lot of heart and um, you know that's that's been my biggest thing is just try to go out there and just do my part thanks Aaron you're welcome take another question from Bruce Beck go ahead Bruce Aaron does the ball look bigger right now I mean what is it like when you're locked in like that not locked in yet you know I'm still trying to find that that's that's the daily grind of, of baseball is you know searching for that you know that locked in feeling, but uh, no, I'm feeling good. You know, the, the biggest thing for me right now is, you know, having a guy like DJ LeMayhew hitting in front of me, getting on base all the time, working counts, driving guys in, moving runners over. And then I got, you know, Glaber Torres and big Stanton behind me, you know, hitting behind me and Stanton's hitting 400, I feel like, and hitting the hitting rockets all over the field, you know, so I'm kind of in a nice little spot in the lineup right now. But, but like I said earlier, I'm just trying to really do my part and with a team like this that we have, you know, with so many different guys in the lineup that can move runners over, drive guys in. It's just just about everybody just doing their doing their part. Thank you. You're welcome. Take another from Brian Hoke. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. Aaron Boone was in the uh, press conference earlier. He said he thinks you're on a mission. So I guess the question is, are you on a mission? And if so, what is it? Yeah, Brian, every year we're on a mission. You know, it's to go out there and win as many games as we can, you know, and that's you know, past couple of years, just thinking about playoffs and, you know, not getting to the final goal that we want to want to get to. It's, you know, it's, it's it's time to get this thing rolling, you know. So, you know, it's still early, but if we just keep taking every single game one at a time and just keep trying to win today, I think that's going to add up at the end of the year for us. Is there a personal mission for you? Not really. Like I, like I said, I'm just trying to do my part. You know, I, I got my own personal goals and, you know, achievements that I want to accomplish each and every year. But none of that comes before the team, you know, and what I can do for the team on, def on the defensive side and on the offensive side. So whenever my name gets called and, you know, whenever there's a situation where I got to drive somebody in, I'm going to try to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. Take the next question from Bob Clappish. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, Aaron. Um, you just said that uh, you're not locked in yet. So I'm, I'm just curious, what does locked in mean to you when you get there? Is it the confidence that if you get your pitch, you're going to do some damage with it? Is it a mental thing? Uh, locked in for me is if I'm going five for five every night, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm still, you know, got out a couple times, um, chased a couple pitches, you know, so there's some times where, you know, not really locked in, but, you know, for me right now, it's just about not missing my pitch. You know, pitchers are making really good pitches, you know, hitting their corners, but, you know, when there's times when, you know, they leave one over the plate, you know, I got to do some damage on it. So that's, you know, fortunately enough, I've been able to do that a couple times early on.